everyone. I am here today waiting on Bree. She's going to pop in here in a minute and join us. Merry Christmas. So Bree and I are going to discuss the 12 days of cell salt and, and hopefully help you get um, at least a basic knowledge of cell salts and when you can use them and how you could use those. And um, we are going to release one new cell salt each day beginning December 12th tomorrow through December 23rd. And we will start um, at 12 o'clock. So every day at 12 o'clock, December 12th through December 23rd, we're going to release a brand new cell salt and we're going to um, have a Christmas theme. You'll see Bree when she gets in here with her, her Christmas sweater and mug and she's so cute and I have nothing Christmassy except for my green sweater. So what I'm going to start with is the Here's Bree. Hey, Bree. Hey, I made it. Yay. I just thought I would get just, started. Like start an introduction and I, I told them you were going to pop in when whenever you In all my Christmas spirit. So, look, I told them Yes, I told them about your Christmas spirit. That's so awesome. I'm <laughs> here. It. I, I hope I'm it. here for good now. So what we're going to do is, um, is go through the 12 cell salts, the 12 days of cell salts. And so today I'm just going to do an introduction into cell salts and the um, cell salt combination. A lot of people know that as bioplasma, but I'll get to that in a minute. And then we're going to release a new cell salt every day at 12 o'clock from December 12th through December 23rd for your 12 days of cell salts. So Merry Christmas. This is so fun. We wanted to do this for Christmas and just pop in every single day and, um, and help you get to know the cell salts better. So the introduction, first of all, all cell salts are homeopathic remedies. They're not, a lot of people think of them as minerals or supplements and a lot of people think of them as different than homeopathy. They are homeopathy. They are homeopathic remedies. And then Dr. Schusler was a homeopath um, who went into nutrition, which is where he developed the cell salt. So he was a homeopath. He decided he wanted to get into nutrition, which is kind of like me, right? Because my whole thing is homeopathy and whole foods. I, yeah. I mean, I haven't gone into nutrition. I don't have a nutrition degree or anything, but yeah, that's what I, I think. You know, there's, there's food and there's homeopathy, and that's what we need to be using for our medicine. And, um, we are actually, when you're using cell salts, we are actually addressing cell nutrition. Isn't that cool? That's so, so cool. So usually we, right? Usually we use the cell salts in low potencies like 3X, 6X, or 12X, but they can be used in any potency, 30s, 200s, 1M, whatever. You can use cell salts in any potency. And the, Dr. Schuschler's reason for prescribing was to supplement the organism with the mineral that was needed. So that is probably why people believe or think that cell salts are supplements. They're really not. And we're going to go into these and help you understand why they're not supplements, but what they can do in the body. I so have heard some symptoms get mixed up and think that. No worries. Go ahead. Um, that using a remedy in the 6x potency they'll say is this the cell salt potency like it that potency is yes. what makes it a cell salt rather than the remedy itself is a cell salt at any potency level no other remedies are cell salt that's right I, you're right and so i'll hear people say even maybe even they're thinking that other remedies like sepia if you use it in a 6x that it's a right. cell salt potency yeah and that's yep Good point. Very good point. So symptoms of mineral deficiencies are constipation, diarrhea, bloating, decreased appetite, nausea and vomiting, weakness or fatigue, muscle cramps, numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, poor concentration, dark, tarry stools, burping, and acid reflux and those are you know just some of the the reasons why you might need 
cell salts in your life. So cell salts tend to be used more for physical complaints. There are some mental things that, you know, that cell salts can do, and you'll see some of that sprinkled through here in these, when we do these uh, 12 days of cell salts, but generally speaking, physical complaints is what we use the cell salts for. Dr. Schuschler arrived at 12 tissue salts because they are the minerals that remain in the cremated human body. There are three calciums, so that's calc fluor, calc phos, and calc sulf. There are three calies or calies. Some people say cali, some people say cali, and that's calimur, califos, and calisulf. And then there are three natrums, which are natmur, natphos, and natsulf. Then there's one magnesium, which is magphos, it's a magnesium phosphate. And there's one ferrum, which is ferrum phosphate. And then there's silica, and those are the 12 cell salts. So really, our bodies are really nutritious for the earth. I mean, that sounds really weird to say, but we take these right? things, and you said they're even good for <laughs> plants and stuff, and they're what's left over when yeah. the body is cremated. That is very weird yeah. and very cool. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Cell salts are amazing, amazing, powerful little remedies. We have a need to balance, um, to have a balance between the electrolytes. So the sodiums and the potassiums, the natriums and the, cal the calies or the calies. And we also need the balance between magnesiums and calciums, right? So a lot of people know that. We also require iron, which is the ferrum, the ferrum phos. And, we, and silica is in every cell in our body. So each remedy is a fundamental, basic remedy, and we can group them all together. Wow, this is so cool. Sorry. And there is a cell salt um, protocol for pregnancy, which makes sense too, because as you're yes. developing and it changes as the baby is developing for what the needs are for the baby. This is all connecting in my cell brain. Salts, that pregnancy program using cell salts is not only good for the baby, but it's good for the mama. You know, there's so many things happening in the mom um, while she's preparing to, while she's making this baby, you know, with her body. And then, yes, it's good for the baby's development. So potassium delivers sodium. And we need the potassiums um, in order to be balanced. And it maintains blood pressure and acid base balance. And then sodium is the most important electrolyte and an essential ion. It maintains fluid balance in the body and influences the blood pressure. It helps the transmission of nerve signals, helps the nervous system um, fire, and it's very important for osmoregulation, which means one element goes out of the cell, another element comes into the cell. So our cells, I mean, when you think about cellular health, cellular generation, without healthy cells, we have tons of disease, right? Mm -hmm. And so the, this balance between these, um, you know, the potassiums and the sodiums and the, the, all of these different things are super important for osmo regulation. Um, the sodium also helps muscles contract, which is important for digest, for the digestive system to function regularly because the digestive system is one big muscle. And if you right. ever watch a video, on how the digestive, how the stomach works. It's really gross. And it's like this that it's cool. big muscle contracting. Yeah, it's very cool. Very, very cool. So praise the Lord, right? He made our bodies to do these it's things. It's crazy. I mean, it's all the a, time. Like, it's think about the things beyond. our body is doing all of the time. Yeah. Completely and beyond our understanding. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So low levels of sodium 
can lead to nausea, vomiting, headache, brain fog, low energy, muscle weakness and spasms, muscle cramps, irritability, and restlessness. Low levels of potassium can lead to constipation, irregular heartbeat, fatigue, and muscle cramps. So this is why we need these balances. The cell salts can bring balance. They bring homeostasis to the body when there's a mineral deficiency. And um, one way to do this is the combination of all 12. So most people know it as bioplasma and because Highlands makes the cell salt combination called bioplasma that's this right here and but this is their name brand bioplasma if that's that belongs to highlands if you order it from somewhere else like ohm it's just the cell salt combination so this is theirs ohm makes them in the sucrose pellets and um, highlands makes them in the lactose pellets it doesn't matter what they're on, they work the same. So let me tell you about the 12, the combo of 12, and then we will um, get into the other cell salts in, in the next days, in the next 12 days. So your 12 cell salts combination is great. So you can think of it as a homeopathic vitamin. It's not a vitamin, it's not a supplement, but kind of like we think of um, pepper sulf is our homeopathic antibiotic. We think of calendula as our homeopathic antiseptic. The 12, the combo of 12 cell salts can be thought of as our homeopathic vitamin. And it helps us to absorb minerals. So let's say that you um, are putting minerals in your water or in your food or you're taking minerals in your mouth every day but if your body can't absorb them or assimilate them homeopathy can fix that so that's mm -hmm. why these 12 cell salts that's what they're gonna do they're gonna fix the problem of you know of you having a malabsorption or not being able to um, assimilate those those minerals you can apply bioplasma topically to remineralize the teeth. So I we just released, right? I didn't either until I did my, some research on these. I didn't know that either. We would have added it to our dental podcast that we just right. released this week when we were recording this. So um, you can crush the, the 12 cell salt combination, the bioplasma, you can crush it up and use it like your tooth powder. Like I use the Dr. Harry's tooth powder Uncle Harry, mm -hmm. sorry, not doctor. Uncle Harry's tooth powder. You can do the same thing with the bioplasma and so remineralize cool. your teeth. Yeah. I think that's pretty awesome. Who does who doesn't want to brush their teeth with homeopathy? <laughs> right? That's ultimate. You are I really the might ultimate try to let y'all know. Homeopathy user when you brush your teeth with it. <laughs> that's right. With bioplasma. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can give it to your plants, animals, family. You can put it in water. You can drink it daily. Um, I, when I decide I want to take some bioplasma, I, t I give it to myself and I go around to every family member and every animal and every plant and I give it to everybody. I put it in the watering can and I go and water <laughs> all my plants. I give it to the chickens. I put it in their water. Um, yeah, everybody can take it. And bioplasma is a cell stimulant. It's great for before and after exercise or physical activity. It's great for cellular fitness, cell function, and it helps you to balance minerals. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you have enjoyed our introduction. We are excited. We're going to see you for the next 12 days at 12 o'clock every single day, a brand new remedy. Come back and join us. We'll see you tomorrow.